Welcome to the Danger Zone, it's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain for entertainment purposes. No bullying or malice allowed. Disclaimers down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Big ol' thank you to my friends Peter, Nikki, Shoshana, and Natural Mystic. It's only been two days and we have so much to talk about. Now before we get to it, I want to share with you something really fast. They're saying Megan is extremely low, down in the dumps, and feeling as if she's ripping Merchie off, cheating him out of social skills. She's far too famous and so important, she can't possibly risk taking him to mommy and me classes. She's been wanting him to get around other children his age, and so desperate she is to put him in a social setting. He's only been in the company of weirdos and dogs. Y'all, it's being said, he doesn't know how to act. <laughs> Neither does his mother. And of course, she and Harry both want the very best for little Merchie. And do you guys realize, even with a million dollars worth of security, they can't even take him to the park. And it's all because she's so important and famous. They've been having some Zoom interviews with exclusive preschools, making sure to always include Marchie's personal stylist, just so they can get a feel of the socioeconomic status of the other children's parents. Now, not any school will do. I have the perfect solution for them. Why don't they put him in front of YouTube, where he can learn how to make Oreo spiders by his Auntie Sarah, and she can teach him how to stuff illegal things inside frozen turkeys to smuggle across the borders. Will and Deal behind her husband's back to sell him out, learn how to secretly communicate messages to inmates through children's books. You know, how to be a proper rule. This woman is a package of psycho, dipped in crazy, rolled in lunatic, and sprinkled with scary. Is it just me? Or do Sarah and Andrew both seem extremely broke since their friends have been busted? He's allowing his property to become foreclosed on. And she's trying her best to build a brand of Mrs. Rogers. Sure puts a spin on things in my mind. I don't believe in coincidences. So I found it interesting that on the 5th of July, she chose a book about friends. Now keep in mind, Ghislaine had just been arrested three days earlier. When I need a place, my buddy makes a space. That's nice, isn't it? If I'm ever in trouble, my mate's here on the double. If I trip, slip or slide, my friend's by my side. When I've had a fright, ah, a mate makes things all right. Any storm we can weather as long as we are together. I really feel like she's trying to send a message to Ghislaine. I really do. And regarding that situation, we have a lot more to talk about. We'll talk about that in the next video. Now, since we're talking about friends and books, let's talk about this real fast. You know, we've all been led to believe that the fallout between Megan and Jessica was over Megan defending Sasha in a roundabout way. Not the case at all. So Jessica had been throwing her weight around, calling up designers, hustling up freebies under Megan's name. But that was the hustle. Megan was in on it too. See, Jessica had been put on the royal payroll to be Megan's traveling stylist. They were thick as thieves. In fact, it was Jessica's job to call all of these designers, presenting this to them. You send us XYZ and the Duchess of Sussex will sport it out in public and that will in turn make you a ton of money. I've always been curious since they were getting all of these multiples of thousands and thousands of dollars worth of designer wear for free, yet Daddy Charles had to bump up the ceiling to the budget in the tune of three and a half million more dollars for Megan. Did she take that budget money and put it in Doria's account? Sort of seems to be the case. 
now getting on with it. So the initial fallout was because Jessica started doing it for herself. And as a result, Megan started pulling back from Jessica. So after all of that went down between Jessica and Sasha on Twitter, Megan decided right then and there, She's cutting Jessica completely out of her life. Why? Because that could have potentially blown her opportunity with Black Lives Matters. And I believe Megan's proven this many a time. That she's just not willing to risk any money-making opportunity for anyone, not friend or family. And because that excuse to cut Jessica out of her life look so much better on her in the eyes of all black people including and most especially black lives matter well she had to strike while the iron was still hot but you know what y'all again megan has proven she's very petty when it comes to the children she happens to be jessica maroney's daughter's godmother and when she didn't acknowledge or try to reach out to this child for her birthday, Jessica reached out to her, or at least tried to. And in true Megan fashion, she has avoided Jessica at all costs. So now Jessica, being upset at all of this, has now decided she just may have to come out with a tell-all of her very own. Dear Jessica, please do. I'll pay double. I promise. You owe it to yourself to do that. Wait, wait. And they're saying Jessica's all kinds of mad and angry over this. And speaking of mad and angry, listen now. Kate's so dang mad, y'all, that she's about to take things into her own hands. Good for her. She wants Megan cut off immediately. She feels like Megan's disrespected the family so much. Why should they be making life easy for her? Anybody else out there relieved to see somebody in that family showing some sort of emotion over what's going on? Dang, y'all, it's about time. So Kate's talking about cutting her completely off. I agree with Kate, 100%. Now, before we wrap this up, I wanted to share with you guys what my friend Nikki sent over to me. And I thank you, sweet girl. So, the other day in that video, I knew something was weird about it. It was real glitchy, and I get that it can be. But they seemed almost robotic, CGI-like, in my opinion. Megan, just like my sweet friend Kay says, doesn't even look like Megan in that conference call. But I knew in my heart of hearts, they weren't sitting next to each other at all. Let's look at that one more time. Can you see what we see? It is clear and evident that they are not sitting side by side. And I share that opinion with many people. So what's really going on here? We have so much more to talk about. I hope you're having a really good day today. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.